I know that I'm not the only one curious to see if products like these shampoo conditioners, leave-in conditioners, leave your hair shiny. I know I'm not the only one. Um, so I got this L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate-Free Glossing Shampoo Conditioner and Leave-In um, Conditioner. And then I'm putting it against the Sun Bum Shampoo Conditioner and Leave-In Conditioner. I'm literally gonna do one side of my head with this. And the other with this. And we're going to see, does it make a difference? How does my hair feel? Is it worth actually spending money on products that say that they're going to leave your hair glossy? I mean, this is a shampoo and conditioner. Can a shampoo and conditioner really uh, do like such a difference in your hair that uh, gloss drops can't do? You guys know I am a big fan of the Garnier uh, Sleek and Shine Fruities Drops. I have used those for I can't even tell you how many years or the Ghost Drops, uh, more so the Garnier uh, because it's just cheaper. <laughs> but those leave my hair shiny and healthy and lightweight and I was wondering, huh, is this worth it? Will it help? This is four colored hair. It says glossing shampoo, brilliant, pH balance, intense shine, anti-fade and UV filter. So color care system. We're gonna try it. You guys can see I'm red. Uh, compared to the Sun Bum revitaling, uh, revitalizing shampoo, uh, daily shampoo enriched with coconut oil, banana pulp, peel and sunflower seed oil. So I'm putting an oil shampoo against this bougie L'Oreal shampoo. We're going to see if it does a difference on our hair. I'm going to take you outside. I'm going to show you in daylight. We're going to do the whole shebang. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I just bleached my hair. Yeah, I took the bleach and I put random stripes in my hair. As you can see, it just boom, boom, boom. I bleached my hair. So this is when your hair, you can see that right there, how much lighter it is. This is when your hair is the most damaged. I bleached my hair yesterday. I put it up in a bun today because I just look very orange. And now I'm going to put my color on top of it. So we know that my hair is going to be the most damaged, okay? Okay. Afterwards, I'm going to shampoo my hair in the gloss, uh, glossing shampoo only on the left side where my mole is right here. So remember, where you see my mole is where we're going to do it. I'm going to do the conditioner, the glossing uh, shampoo conditioner, and the glossing in shower acidic glaze. Then I'm going to let my hair dry naturally. We're going to go ahead and flat iron it in the morning and see... Hey, does this stuff actually work? Um, is it more shiny? So I'm going to color my hair right now. Uh, and the reason I'm not going to uh, style it right after, because uh, when anytime I put uh, a process on my hair, like a chemical treatment, I like it to dry naturally. And then I'll style it the next day. But just so you know, regular shampoo over here and this uh, L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System is going to put be put to the ultimate test. So I'm gonna color my hair right now. What color I'm doing? I'm doing Ion Intense Shine 5 IR. I'll post a link to that too. It's Intense Light Auburn, as you can see right there. It's not gonna have shine because I used the shampoo and conditioner in a different video because I had so much hair and I used the one from here and the other box. So we're just putting the color. Color will not get your hair shiny. It's just going to process your hair and your hair is going to be uh, drier. People can, uh, hairdressers can say it's more textured. It has more volume. Yeah, because it's drier. what i was just thinking about it if i'm going to use the l'oreal paris uh ever pure over here on the, my left side i might as well put it against a shampoo and conditioner and another leave-in treatment because that's what i'm doing with the l'oreal okay so let's take the hair down I'm gonna spray these leave-in conditioners. You can see where it's parted. Wow, I think my roots are gonna be too light. I can just kind of tell. So left side where my mole is, we're gonna do the Ever Pure by L'Oreal. 
push button right here to lock and unlock. Wow, I've never seen that. Sun bum. Sun bum. Mm, like beach, like coconut. Mm, this smells good. This, make sure it's evenly distributed. I will say the conditioners, both of them were amazing. It felt like I had a water softener. That's how soft my hair felt. And I don't have a water softener. Ever Pure uh, spray is. Took three times longer to dry. I have been stuck on this hair drying and drying and drying and drying. It tells you that there's a he much, much heavier coat of something on the hair. This side with the sun bum dried like immediately. But yeah, if I run my fingers through, they both feel like they have a coating. But this one is definitely thicker. So I'm actually going to flat iron it so we can see what it looks like because I'm just so freaking impatient. Significant, significant difference. This is the L'Oreal side, right? I want you to see this though. Look at the, can you tell the difference when I do this? Do you see how much more volume is over here? And as I'm flat ironing it, look at this. So let me push it all down so you have a really good comparison. Look at this. Where do you notice my layers more? You notice them over here more. You see that? Because these are all kind of like stuck together. Mind you, they're the exact same on each side, right? And I can prove that because I can pull them all out. They're the exact same, but they come out more over here because this is so much more lightweight. It's so much more lightweight. This feels like I have a, a gloss on my hair, like a thick gloss. Um, as far as the shine, I don't think I can really tell because it's nighttime, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the shine in the morning. But as far as the weight, this L'Oreal, I think the L'Oreal will be great if you wore your hair curly and you wanted no frizz because it's like, it's heavier. It's much, significantly heavier. And as I'm going through each piece, it kind of just, when I flat iron it, let me just, this is still hot. When I flat iron it, you can see how it's just going to lay one big chunk and it's all together. And then over here, get the same piece. This is coated on this side, don't get me wrong. This is definitely coated on this side. It is just not as heavy. You see that? You still have just I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I hope you can see this on camera, what I'm talking about. Let's see here. It is a significant, significant difference. Like so much more weight. Weight, but lighter. So we're going to see in the morning That's what the color looks like. Those spots in the front are pretty darn light. But I think when I wear my bangs down, it don't look too shabby. See you guys in the morning. We're going to go in the sun and see how this looks. And see, do I actually have more shine? Heavier, but do I have more shine? See, you can't really tell very much in this lighting. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, so I'm outside. Uh, no, I haven't put any makeup on yet. And I have, this is just fresh, like out of bed. Let's get dressed. There's really not a difference. And then I asked my brother, I was like, is there any difference that you see? He thought he was like barely any. He thought there was more shine on this side, which is not the L'Oreal. I don't know. There is a big difference though. This one is heavier still and it does feel like it's coated, almost like it has a protectant on it. And this one is coated. It's just not as heavy. But do you see a difference? Look at, I mean... Look, okay, so, right, and then over here. It's so hard to tell. I pretty much think that they're the same, personally. Okay, I turned you long ways so you could actually see what I was talking about. Do you, I mean, come on. If you're just looking at me, do you really see, remember, I'm under the studio light, so you have reflection off. Do you really see 
that big of a difference. Remind you, I think there's a little bit more lighter pieces over here. There we go. Make it even. Do you see a difference? This is L'Oreal. This is Sunbum. No, no. They're both coated. And I really, truly think the coating is not so much the conditioner. Conditioner was amazing on both. Left, especially on the L'Oreal. Conditioner was amazing. It left my hair filling and the sun bun, but more so the L'Oreal, the conditioner. Like, it was just, like, I had, like, um, what is that? A water softener system. It was amazing. But, come on, do you really see a huge difference? No, you don't. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of the L'Oreal because it literally weighed my hair down. I re-ironed it the whole bit, but it weighed it down compared to what it normally is. This one is just still, it's still lighter, but it still has a little bit heavy of a product. You guys let me know if you see a difference, but I would say they are, this is a great shampoo and conditioner, great shampoo. I loved the fact that um, it's just the, the spray, the leave-in uh, spray was a little light, more lightweight than this one, uh, but this shampoo and conditioner, they kind of uh, acted the same, so... These are relatively around the same price. I'm kind of thinking that it was more the spray that weighed my hair down more than anything because the performance of the shampoo lathered really, really well. So it cleaned the hair, but it, it felt like it had a lot of conditioning treatments in it. The conditioners were amazing, <laughs> amazing, amazing for just coloring my hair and it being that damaged, amazing. I just am not a fan, I don't think, of the leave-in conditioners. This one was lighter. I could have used less in my hair. This one was heavier. Obviously, I could have used less. But that's how much product I normally put in my hair. So if you have thin hair, I would not recommend using the leave-in sprays for these companies because it was just too freaking heavy. And mind you, I can put a lot of product in my hair and it's like flowy and, 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 uh, lightweight, right? Cause I have really coarse thick hair. I would totally recommend the shampoo and conditioner of these two, just not the spray products. Um, what do you guys think of the red anyways? <laughs> Didn't even tell me I'm total redhead now loving the color. Um, I will post all the links to whatever I can find of these down below in the description and um, right here in the video somewhere if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I love you guys. Mwah! Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you. I love you. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Own yourself. Love yourself. And don't be so hard on yourself this year. Seriously. Like, we got to learn to let things go. When people offend us or they do you wrong, as long as you know in your heart of hearts and God knows that you were in the right not necessarily in the right, but you were doing the right thing with a good heart, then all is good. Remember, people are not going to, I know I'm just giving like random advice, but I figured you guys like it. People are not always gonna give you the answer you wanna hear when someone's done you wrong. You're never gonna get the apology you really want to hear, something that satisfies you. So just learn to trust God's plan. Things happen for a reason move forward, love yourself, be content with yourself. You don't always need a ride along with you. Sometimes being by yourself and being, and I'm not saying don't be around people. I'm not saying that, but sometimes happiness comes from within. And when you are content with yourself, then other people are attracted to that and they love that but that's not the point the point is that you should be happy here first before you're with needing to find happiness with somebody else so love yourself be whole be light on yourself this year and try to do the best you can just put one foot in front of the other and move forward i love you guys remember god has a plan for you and just trust him I will, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. I'm Christina Marie, the redhead. I'm out. <laughs> Bye.